Radical acceptance is the only way through, I think. We're faced with all these choices in life. It always comes down to choice. And one of those choices in any given moment, do I accept this or do I reject it? Now, I say choice, but it isn't really a choice, and that's the paradox of it. It is, and it's also not. When we reject something, it's almost like, I'm not really good at metaphors or analogies, so I'm just gonna try and explain it directly. When we reject something, it's like a secondary movement of the mind that creates a false layer of reality on top of what already exists. So what already exists is acceptance. What already exists is it's all included. So one of the like catchphrases that I come back to in my own life is my reality is an all is all inclusive. It's an all inclusive reality and that really it means that in no matter what comes up oh this is part of it too oh yeah this is part of it too no matter how much you want to resist something that's happening it's just happening anyway <laughs> so you can pretend that it's not happening on all kinds of different fronts um, I personally, I've had, I don't know if you want to call it anxiety, um, you could call it anxiety, but it's this movement that the mind pushes down, pushes down all experience, all emotions, all feeling. Um, because in my mind where I live, I can control that space. Uh, at least that's what I feel like. Is feel even the right word? It's not really a feeling. You know what I'm saying? So we get mixed up in the words. Am I feeling? Am I thinking? Is it happening? Is it not happening? At the same time, uh, all that is included in it as well. We can just keep resting in that sense of, you know, I guess this is part of it too. And whatever comes up in the mind, like for me, the thoughts that are coming up are, oh man, you're so stupid now. Oh, wow, you used to be able to think. Oh, you used to be able to communicate with people. You used to be able to see things and observe things. And, oh, man, all this trauma has just destroyed your whole life and you have nothing left and you have no anything. No friends and your body doesn't work. You're disabled and you don't have a career and you have nothing to live for. You know, there's all kinds of these thoughts that are just coming in right now, just like washing over me. And, Okay, oh, yeah, sure, that's true. I mean, I don't have anything. Sure, that's not true. I have things. I have this shirt, for example. I have my friends on YouTube, you know, those are real people. Can't touch them, can't hug them, but they're still real people. I mean, are they? Are they real? <laughs> you guys real? <laughs> I don't know. I see the comments, but those could be bots. Anyway. <sighs> just coming back to the sense of acceptance and it's not like oh wow now i've got it now i'm so happy everything i've accepted it and everything is great uh, i can't say that i came to these ideas out of like positive inspiration it's mostly just everything has been taken away from me and I don't have anything to hold on to and I don't have a strong ego. Um, that's not true. I have a very strong ego, but I don't have a strong positive sense of self. Like, you know how some people are really just themselves and being around someone like that, you at least I kind of wonder, how are you doing that? How are you so yourself and so like in love with yourself that you're just the center of the universe in this way that I guess we're all that it's just mine is so 
also at the same time so self-negating rather than affirming. Um, some people just have such an inflated sense of themselves in a positive way. And I don't know that I'm jealous of it, but imagine being a person who... Anyway, I don't really feel like I want to go down this train of thought because it's taking me into feelings of anger and jealousy and how do they get away with it and you know, these kinds of thoughts which are not really helpful um, they're all part of it too you know I feel mad I feel jealous that I have this sense of self that hates itself and that's fighting with itself and I feel blah 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 you know and there's that as well there's the diminishing of my own pain and suffering um, which also isn't going to help of course and all that is included so I just keep coming back to that okay great these feelings are here and the resistance against those feelings is also here and the thoughts about how I should be and shouldn't be that's also here and it's all wrapped up in this one continuous um, cycle of whatever it is that's happening just happening it's just happening so it's not like, not like we're trying to fixate on this. We're not trying to fixate on, ah, yes, now it's happening and I've got it. But at the same time, we don't want to be oblivious to it. Like, whatever, I'm just going with the flow and I'm completely out of control. I have no idea where I am or who I am. And, but like, we don't want to be completely oblivious to it um, because then, well, I mean, maybe maybe there's a what am i trying to get at here there's a balance there's a middle ground is there i'm circling around something in this conversation like there's all this stuff and then there's this nothing and there's this thing and then there's nothing and then there's this thing and then there's more and there's more and there's more and more and all of this is part of it this endless cycle of more and more and more we're just going to keep going around in this clunky loop until finally, at a certain point, wait a minute, what do you mean finally at a certain point? You're still looking for something to happen, waiting for something to happen, or trying to make something happen. There's no finally, there's no point. And if you could exhaust yourself, well, again, if, then, blah, 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 that's, you know, what, what am I trying to get at here? I'm trying to arrive on something, I'm trying to land on something. And it just keeps bouncing right back or pushing me right away. And there's no landing space. There's no... <laughs> it's extremely uncomfortable when you're trying to grasp something that is ungraspable. It's, it's maddening. It's like you sense that things, sh that things are flowing or should be more flowing. And yet your movement is clunky. Uh, 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 uh. And it's like in physics, the duality of the wave and the particle, you know, the particle or the photon of light or the packet of information, which is a discrete thing. It's the same way in which records like old analog records and music, which are just waves, sound waves. Wow, cool, man. Feel the vibe. And they got turned into CDs or whatever, MP3s. <laughs> and that's just tick 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 little bits and bytes. And are they the same? I think that's the paradox to resolve, is they're the same. And while we can see this in terms of science experiments, like reading a paper about, or even my, in my own case, doing an experiment and seeing it in front of my eyes, that doesn't, that at least for me, did not give any sort of understanding or way to work with it. How do we work with it? What, what, is, what is it? What am I even talking about? I don't know, man. I could just say, I heard a dog barking. You could probably hear it too. And, you know, I'm not thinking. I'm just resisting. And I mean, <laughs> it 
it's time to let go, you know? Sometimes part of it too is that, you know, there's not, sometimes we can let go and other times we can't. Sometimes we can achieve things and sometimes we cannot. And some of these more difficult lessons or difficult learnings of acceptance are like the deeper ones that you feel it in your gut. Like, oh, wow. So that thing that I believed was true isn't true. Oh, wow, okay. And the ones that really make up these core aspects of ourselves and the things that give us a sense of security or safety or feeling like we have any chance at all of holding this together. Um, when those things go, you're kind of out there without any and we can try to fixate on something. Oh, well, um, uh, uh, maybe a song that I heard or um, a person that I knew or um, a memory, a cherished memory or, you know, um, a thing that I might have done or that I'm maybe doing or I'm maybe going to do in the future or, you know, we can try to establish some, ah, got it now, I'm in time. I got something, okay. And in doing so, we kind of tether ourselves in the mind. And it's like if you've ever had a dog and you, a dog that's very energetic, and you tie it down in the yard and you put, you know, I don't know, man, what am I talking about? It's not what it's about. It's not like a dog. You don't even know. I mean, it's not that I, I don't need to know what I'm talking about. I mean, I don't, I actually don't need to know what I'm talking about. I'm fine with that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> you know, and when I smile, I have the thoughts, oh, you're ugly. Okay. Well, <laughs> Yes, that stopped me from putting myself out there in my life for decades. And I'm sure a lot of people have their own versions of that, that thing that has stopped you from living. And recognizing that, and depending on how old you are, or how far along you are in your life journey, can be yet another thing to hold on to. Like, ah, oh, no, I just wasted all of my good years, my 20s and my 30s. For, that's my story. And then it, immediately in the same breath, that thought comes up, well, you're lucky you even lived to be 40. You could have died when you were two. Well, maybe I did. Maybe I did die when I was two. Maybe this is just a bad dream. And maybe I'm about to wake up from that dream. Have you ever thought of that? Yeah, I mean, you don't really know what's happening. And it's not good to, I mean, nothing is good. I was going to say it's not good to go into delusion, but it doesn't really matter. If you can't hold it together in this society, then you may have to... <sighs> anyway. There's no landing place. There's nowhere to land. <laughs>